Thanks for checking back here at Busy Lady Life. As you can see, we've been pretty busy here at this um, channel with all of our vegetables and our garden and our summer um, travel uh, events. And so we've been doing a lot of things. Today's recipe is going to be, um, with using some of this produce, I'm going to show you a recipe for banana, pepper, honey mustard. Here we go with those banana peppers. I'm gonna add some mustard powder. You need some beer. The stronger the ale, ale the better the flavor. Some raw honey. Mustard seeds, of course. I had yellow, but you can use black if you want. Some ground turmeric. I have white balsamic vinegar and apple cider vinegar, but it really doesn't matter. You can use white vinegar, any vinegar of your taste that you choose to. And then banana peppers. We're gonna first start with grinding the mustard seeds. So you have a half cup of mustard seeds. These are yellow. You can use a coffee bean grinder if you want. Um, I'm choosing to use my blender. A trick that I had seen on another YouTube channel with someone dehydrating and processing herbs as I do, um, they use cling wrap or you could use parchment paper and set it right over your um, receptacle of whatever you're blending with and that way your lid does not get um, all of the debris from the uh, grinding, which saves you. It gives you more actually of the herbs or in this instance, mustard seeds. Now you're gonna only pulse this about 15 seconds. So you're not looking to totally grind it like the ground mustard powder. You're just looking to give it a little texture and break those seeds up and to make them a little bit more aromatic. I think next time when I make this recipe, I'm going to do it with the black mustard seeds. I just went through several stores and I couldn't find them, so this is what I have. But you could certainly try it. So now that it's done being pulsed, I'm going to pour that into a bowl and then start preparing the banana peppers. Mental note, didn't really go well to use the banana peppers in my blender. I end up having to add a liquid in it in order to break it down. It just didn't grind up that well. Here's where I was just showing you how it didn't get anything on the lid. So I'm going to remove the stems. I'm going to remove the seeds and the ribs of the banana peppers. I only used three total. Um, I just didn't need it that many. And then I'm going in with the other ingredients. So you're gonna need a half cup of mustard powder, two tablespoons of turmeric, um, a half cup of the ale, and then I only use two tablespoons of the honey, but as you see, I actually added more into it through the video. And that was really because you know, and I'll explain later about the tasting of the mustard when you're just making it. Um, so right in this instance, I was showing you three tablespoons, but I'll be adding more in. So I'm grinding those banana peppers, supposedly. I'll have to add the beer in order to make like a little slurry. And once I do that, I'm gonna have all my dry ingredients and then slowly incorporate the wet ingredients. So I had the mustard seeds, now I'm adding the mustard powder, putting in the turmeric. And I'll show the full list of the recipe um, in the description. And then I'm gonna add into the honey next. Again, with my finest, my one-handed business, trying to pour in um, the vinegar, three tablespoons of vinegar, which you could use any. I just wanted to try different flavors. So again, back to what I was saying about the beer. You could add water. Um, you could add just, you know, a light beer. But they say, and, and, and it did, it give a stronger mustard flavor when I used a stronger ale. So now bringing in all those wet ingredients. So what I wanted to share is that I thought was interesting. Um, of 
course I used a spatula later on just to scoop this out. But as I was mixing um, the mustard, you know, first I was dealing with a consistency issue that I wanted to make sure I was right at in addition to the taste. Never go by the taste of the mustard right off the bat. It was so bitter and so hot. Um, you know, of course they say the more you let the beer set into the seeds and the dry ingredients, the weaker the taste of your mustard will be. So if you want a weaker tasting, less spicy mustard, let it sit for a while. Um, I did not. I went, you know, all in. And here I'm just trying to, you know, kind of remove the little bit of the banana peppers that are still in there. Um, so the taste is something that you should not go by. It was just, it, I, the taste was not something that was appealing at the time. It was hot and I didn't taste the honey. And I was trying to balance out my consistency. I thought I added too much liquid. In turn, after I had water bath it and let it sit for a couple of days, it came out more like a tomato paste. So bear in mind, as I'm gonna put in the description, I'm going to add um, three fourths cup of beer or water. And then in addition to um, probably a fourth cup of vinegar, just for you to have more of a liquidy consistency than what I had. And then as for the honey, which I needed that spicy and the sweetness coming in, I added only two tablespoons, but later on you see me add more in here because I just didn't seem to see how it's, it seems to be a good mustard consistency here, but it doesn't stay. Once you let it sit in your fridge, it changes. It gets more solid. So go ahead and add a little more liquid in. It's okay. Learn my lessons. Here I'm adding in. So overall, I think that probably about a fourth cup of honey is probably where you're gonna be, wanna be at. And the reason I say this is because I'm going off with somebody else's recipe, trying it out, and then I'm tweaking it to my own taste. And then after it was done, two days later, I went back in, I'm like, this was perfect. Actually, I'm glad I added all this in. So here's my ending result of my banana pepper honey mustard. It made mm, a little bit about a pint and a half. Those are smaller than a pint canning jars or jelly jars and I water bath this because it is very acidic so I was able to water bath it I have one in the fridge and then I have one on my shelf later on with all of those banana peppers which I had plenty of um, I did some banana pepper pickles so here is the plentiful banana peppers that I had and I even still have some in the freezer to make um, I make a, a hot pepper relish, which a jalapeno relish, but I mean, I'll probably use some of these peppers in my relish. But here's the ending result of the banana pepper honey mustard. Thank you guys for stopping by to my channel. And I hope you take a peek at some of my other recipes and let me know what your um, thoughts are about this recipe and if you know, you've tried it and how it, how it works out for you. Thanks again.